In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up reaction verification. What is reaction verification? As you can see, this server is completely empty. Like I don't have anything here on the left. If I click this button right here, then everything opens up. So I'm going to click, boom. There you go. My server is open. I can check the channels and that's reaction verification because when I click on this, it adds a role to my user that allows me to see the whole server. And that's what I'm going to teach you on this video. So let's get right to it. First, I'm going to go to my server and this is completely empty. As you can see, I have a few channels here and this is where we're going to set up everything. Let's first go to server settings and create a verification role. We can call it anything. Um, let's just call it um, first create a role and let's call it verified verified this is the role that we're gonna give people so that they can access the server right so it's just an empty role right now at the moment we can see that our server is open by that i mean that whoever comes in can see the text channel so we need to make all the text channels private and we can do it one by one by going edit channel but if they're all under a category we can set the settings on all of these channels by doing it in the category instead so we're going to right click in the category and then edit category let's go to permissions and here we're going to add our verified role right on everyone we're going to deny view channels so that anyone that comes in that doesn't have a role will not be able to see the channels and on verified we're going to allow for them to see the channels so now when someone comes in without a role they cannot see any of the channels but as soon as they get the verified role they can actually see the channels right as you can see now they have a little padlock which means that the channels are private now another setting that you need to do is that you need to have a text channel that is not private so that they can actually access it when they come in without any roles so i'm going to just create a new channel maybe just create a category um information you can name it however you want so here on the verification channel, as you can see, it is a public. It doesn't have the padlock. Here's where we're going to have the message that is going to allow people to click on so that they can access the whole channel. So let's just send the verification message. All right. So here's what we're going to add the little reaction so that people can click on and access the server, right? This is not the one. So now that we have the server set up, we have the role and we have the channels private and we have the verification channel and the message. Now let's move on to the YAC PDB bot, which is the one that we're going to use to do the automatic role assigning process. So make sure that you have the YAC PDB bot in your server already. Just go to yakpdb.xyz and add to server and you will be able to add it from there. So once you have the bot in your server, then you go to control panel, login using Discord. There you go. So then you select your server. I'm going to choose this one, the black house. And once you're logged in in this panel, then you go to tools and utilities and let's go to role commands. So once you're here in role commands, this is going to seem a little difficult, but it's not really. I'm going to show you step by step. So the first thing that we need to do is create a group and we're just going to call it verify. Um, for this group, we're going to select single. Um, I don't know what standard means, but single means that people can only have one role from this group or multiple roles from this group. And since the verification is just one, we're going to select the single one, right? Um, no roles are required and don't ignore any roles. We can leave those two options turned off and let's click create new group. Now that we have the group created, if you want to change any settings, they will be down here. We can come up to this one and we're going to create the command that is going to assign the role to the members that click on the reaction thing. So let's call it the same name as a role, um, verified. Just gonna call it verified, right? And as you can see, I cannot choose the role down here. And I cannot choose it because the verified role is above the role of the bot in our Discord server. So we need to go to our Discord server and make that change. So let's go back and let's go to server settings and let's go roles. And as you can see, the verified role is above the YAC PDB bot. So we need to make that change, put it above and save changes. It's just a Discord thing. I did that error on purpose so that if you encounter it, you know how to fix it, right? So now we're going to refresh. Well, I already refreshed. And let's go ahead and click on the verify tab. You see, we got out of it. So we click on the verify tab and we select the role verified. We can choose it now and then just name it the same way verified there we go so i'm going to click here create new role command before i click let me scroll down there's nothing down here right when i click boom it creates the new command here we have it 
So I'm going to save changes. Changes were saved already, but anyways. And now that we have this set up, let's go back to our server and set it up properly. So here we're going to do this little command and I'm going to include it in the description so you don't have to write it down. The command is going to be dash role menu create and then the name of the group which is verify verify jesus verify dash if we want to assign it to this message then we need to provide the message id for this one um, if we leave it without the message id then the bot creates the message but we want to assign it to this message so we're going to click here copy id in order for you to obtain the message ID, you need to have developer mode on. So copy the message ID and then dash M, that's for the message, and paste the message ID, paste, there we go. And then we do dash no DM. No DM means that whenever someone gets the role, the bot is not gonna send a DM, like I have assigned you this role, because that's a little annoying, right? So once we do that, then we click enter, and the bot is going to assign the verify command to this message. And it's asking us to react to this message with the emoji that we want to add for the reaction. So I'm going to just choose a check mark emoji. Um, here we go. So the bot adds the check mark emoji to this. And now we can delete all of this. All right, so now we have our reaction verification. I'm going to click on my user. As you can see, I have no roles. And if I react on this, boom. I get the verified role. So that works. Let me try with this other user that's not the administrator on this server so you see how it actually looks. So I'm gonna TDH, you see, verification. I have no other channels here, right? Completely empty. When I click on this, I'm gonna get the verified role and everything is gonna open up on the left. So click, boom. Now I can see all of the other channels. All right. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.